James with Ruti Customs. I just wanted to show you guys my modified 18 inch Harbor Freight sheet metal bender. Let's see if it'll, item number 39103. I have modified this um, a few times now and I've added some features to it and I'll go over those. So first thing I did was I made, I just put it in this cheap little mount, bolted it right to that so then it could fit into a vise. So you can make it mobile. The second thing I did is when you buy it, it does not come with this bridge and this piece of square tubing right here. You only get this plate. And what they want you to do is you put your sheet metal in through here, in between these two. And then you bring, come around here and you use clamps, C-clamps, or vice grips, or whatever you can to clamp it, and then bend it up. What I did is I installed these guys. I took the wing nuts off. I needed the wing nuts on another project, so I don't have the wing nuts on here anymore, but... I drilled this side and this side and then I welded a nut from the bottom so you only got the thread sticking through and see this is not actually attached to that you got a little bit of a gap and it tightens it down so you put you have made this to where it's a you don't need to have C clamps and everything. You just come over here, put your sheet metal in this. You got a nice little, you got a gap underneath here, and it'll bend sheet metal. Grabbed a piece of 18 gauge, and what you do is you come in here. Slide that piece just like that into there in between the two. Usually it's usually it's wing nuts, but like I said, I'm using the wing nuts. I took the wing nuts off. I had to use them the other day on something. This is really hard to do one-handed. And you just tighten this down. Okay, so I tighten down those top nuts. So the piece is pretty snug in there. It ain't moving. And then you just take it and grab the two handles. I'm going to try to do this with one hand. And you bend it up till it stops. Pretty close. Maybe a little bit over, but... And you just loosen. It's so much easier to do with the wing nuts. I didn't loosen it enough. You gotta loosen it. Or it won't come out. Come on. Wow, this is not easy to do one-handed either. And you pull it out, and you got your nice 90-degree bend. So great tool. Um, I modified it that I put this because this disperses the weight or the pressure down. So you don't have a bow in it. It doesn't bow when you try to bend the metal and flex this top plate up. So cool little bender. Um, I have multiple other kind of benders. Um, I have my three in one. And then I also have a 
a 36 inch floor bender which are, are they're all good benders and they all have their place that's a 30 inch bender that'll do and it all, it's also a sheet metal roll a roller and a shear um, I use that thing a lot it's not made by Eastwood I just put the Eastwood sticker on it Eastwood's a great company so and then my floor, a back floor bender it's a 36 inch and it'll do tight curb bends this is also a finger bender so like a pan, for a pan for doing pan boxes and stuff you could take these off and you can make back to back bends and stuff like that so but if you're just if you're making little brackets and other brackets they sell two of these they have this one the 18 inch and then they have a 30 inch which is the same size just bigger obviously and about double the price so great bender check it out um, definitely easy to modify and it has worked and it's got me by for a long time this is the first bender I bought and I've had this thing uh, probably about 10 years so it's a great little bender if you have any questions let me know please like share and comment on the video and let me know what you guys want to see or want to out of this channel so I appreciate you watching, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks, and have a great day.